Hello everyone, this is Chidanand from Kratz InfoTech NG. Welcome to this tutorial on Azure Pipelines. What I plan to demonstrate in this tutorial is how to put up a simple pipeline which will pull a repository that is hosted on GitHub. The repository contains a simple Java based application which is built using Maven. One of the pretty important uh, quality metrics from a perspective of software engineering is code coverage. How many lines of code that your application has contains and uh, how many lines of those have been tested by the unit test cases that has, written, that has been written by your team. So in this tutorial, I plan to demonstrate how to grab this code coverage using a particular tool called Jacoco and how to publish the code coverage report onto Azure pipelines. Let me now show you the public GitHub repository that I have. Uh, it is under my ID and I will leave a link to this particular repository. So anybody wants to try this out um, can use this. So there is a source code folder which has got um, you know the particular application and the test cases relating to the application that is being written. Now, what is more important is this pom.xml file. This contains all the information regarding your application. What is the packaging mechanism? What is the application name? What compiler to kind of use for building this application? What dependencies are present? And what plugins to use? So I have specifically used a plugin called Jacoco hyphen Maven plugin and also a specific version of this particular plugin. And you'll also notice that I have specified what version of JDK to use in order to compile and build this application. Now, what I plan to do next is put up a simple job on my Azure pipeline, which will pull this repository, package this, and also spit out the report which contains the code coverage numbers. This is my Azure DevOps login. Anybody who has got a GitHub account can also try Azure DevOps um, for free as long as you uh, do not use some of the specified services which have got a cost associated with that. Now I put up a, a this is my organization. There is my project. So let me go to my project. And let me put up a pipeline. Okay, a new pipeline. The first time when you do it, you have to authorize uh, DevOps in order to reach out to your GitHub account. So it may prompt you on your GitHub to authorize um, the access of Azure DevOps. I've already done that. All right, so now my repository is uh, starts with JAC. So let me just type in this. Now you'll find my source code here. It also gives me um, a recommendation as to what kind of a pipeline you would want to put up. Maven is good. All right, it also gives me a ready-made task. Okay, now let me just take a look at this task and if needed, I will modify some things. Um, Ubuntu latest sounds good. Uh, Pom.xml JDK version. JDK version that I need is 1.11. Okay, and um, maybe I don't want to publish this report right here. I will add another task to publish this um, JUnit uh, results as well. Okay, so let me just remove that. Uh, this is good okay i'm going to have a task uh, which is maven and uh, it is going to use the pom.xml file jdk version is 1.11 goals package this sounds good now after this let me see if i can add something else okay or let me first build this once just to check if everything runs all right so let me just uh, save and run this All right, so this job may take some time to automatically finish running. So let me just pause the video for a bit and come back once the pipeline is completed. It's a matter of few minutes when my job uh, got completed and you will find that uh, everything uh, ran as expected. All right, and if I come back to my job, okay, now let me try to edit this job because right now, um, the job has run, but I don't see any output in terms of um, uh, the code coverage or 
the test cases okay automatically some test cases show up here but then i will also use another task okay to to show uh, the actual test cases along with the code coverage for now it says you know there's no co code coverage just because you know i didn't use any tool so let me come back and uh, let me edit this pipeline all right now if i come to the end here um, i can search for different tasks some of them are default for some of them i may need to install an extension or a plugin okay so let me see if there's any task relating to publish okay publish um, first unit test cases or test results let me try running this okay so it says junit and um, what is the folder in which your xml files that uh, relate to whatever type of unit test cases that you've written is present if at all i take a look at um, any public you know any repository where i've run this manually on uh, using maven um, this is typical folder structure that you would notice so i have run this locally this is just to ensure that uh, you know you understand what is the subfolder where the reports are usually put up usually there is for a maven repository there is a target folder inside this target folder all the junit test cases go to a folder called surefire reports okay it's under the folder called target so let me just copy this now this is a kind of a relative path there is a way in which um, you know i can specify the actual path on this particular agent okay now i hope all of you understand that when we talk about azure devops pipeline the pipelines are run on agents or a compute that is available on uh, on the azure devops okay now either there are some environment variables that will tell me what is the actual folder location on this particular um, agent which is actually running this job now let me not get get into all that from a very very simple perspective star star will give me the um, base location from wherever my application is running okay so out here it has to be the target folder and surefire reports this sounds good forward slash star dot xml all the files that has got information regarding um, the test cases that are run end up in an xml file okay so i can just say forward slash star dot xml okay so this will this will ensure that the test reports are kind of published okay now i also want to publish another I'm not sure why oops where did i publish this okay i think it okay um, this has to be after this particular step oops my bad this is a little tricky <clears throat> okay all right so after the package this is the next task after this task i'll have to put up another task okay now that would be my code coverage percentage okay yes now this is my code coverage percentage or other code coverage report it tells me where is the file that contain using any kind of a tool okay now this is a, a generic one uh, whatever tool that you're going to use those tools create some sort of a folder structure now which folder st structure contains the xml file that has got the code coverage report in in my case uh, surefire is the unit test cases under target there is something called site under site jacoco and jacoco.xml now this is the file that has got all information about the jacoco code coverage okay so that it's right under the target folder so let me just copy this all right just be aware that this uh, backward slash has to be replaced with forward slash site and um, under this what is the name of my file oops uh, jacoco dot xml okay j a c o c o dot xml all right sometimes you may want to give a couple couple of other parameters as well okay, what is the source um, folder 
okay but now in this case it is not required all right also fail if the code coverage results are missing you know i may not want to put up this configuration i will say add now you see only two lines of or three lines of code now these this is for the unit test case this is for the code coverage now let me just save it and uh, let me run this pipeline or rather it automatically gets triggered if it doesn't get triggered let me run this again all right again it may take a while for this to happen so let me pause the video and come back once i have the result ready from this particular run after a few minutes we will see the run happening and since we are running on a free tire sometimes our job needs to wait um, now you see the output everything looks good there's nothing that is broken so if i come back to my pipeline and uh, this is what ran all right now if you see the test okay there is a bunch of tests unit test cases it only shows the aborted and um, failed ones if i click this it will also show me what kind of a test you know what are the names of the tests and how many were there also you will find this code coverage numbers okay there are about 10 lines of code and uh, only three lines are covered which kind of approximately points out to 30 percent of code coverage setting up a pipeline on azure devops to pull out a github repository which has got jacoco code coverage is as simple as that i hope you enjoyed this tutorial and as usual please try this out and in case you run into any issues kindly leave me a message and i'll try to address it as soon as i can thank you so much for stopping by and watching my video you have a great day